Just a few days ago, my brother-in-law was asking why I don't know how to play football. I told him it's not only that I don't play football, I didn't play any game as a child because I had a very terrible childhood. But even when I grew up and developed an interest in movies and a few games like snooker, it only lasted a few years before I stopped almost everything you can call game or leisure. So, if I don't play games, what do I do with my life? Do I just work, work, work? Hmm, no. While I don't play games as most people know it, I don't work hard too. I feel like I work less than most people. I know while I have more money than most people. I'll use this video to share with you how you can become a millionaire without working hard. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. To start with, let's find an answer to these questions. Why do people think that they are working hard? And why do you think that you are working hard? These questions are very important to our discussion because if we don't know the reason why we think we're working hard, we can't know how not to work hard and still make a lot of money. Do people think they are working hard because they are lazy and don't want to work? No, most people are not lazy. The reason why most people think they are working too hard is that they are not doing what they are passionate about. I hope you'll agree with me on this. Just imagine that you are playing your favorite game. Do you feel like you're working so hard playing games? Probably not. One of the biggest problems in our world today is that there is not enough emphasis in our schools about students' passion and interest. So the school doesn't prepare you for a life where you choose the job or business you love and that's why you think you're working hard. Mark Twain said and I quote, Find the job you enjoy doing and you will never have to work a day in your life. If you find a career you love, you'll never have to work in your entire life because every day looks like a game for you. Not just that your days will seem like you're playing all through, you're almost much more likely to become rich, faster than everyone. I'll explain how this works. Working hard, playing games. Around the year 2011, I lived shortly with a man who was addicted to video games. This guy loves video games so much that he will wake up at 3 a.m. to play games. I couldn't believe this story if not because it happened right in front of my eyes. Now the question is, why does this guy spend so many hours to play games? Very simple, he loves it. Now another question, how much do you think this guy knows about those games he's playing? Probably everything. Because he wakes up every day to eagerly play games for many hours, he's likely to know how to play those games more than 99% of people. Now imagine that game is your business or job. What do you think will happen? The answer is very simple. If you feel so much passionate about your business, product or job the way this my friend feels about his video games, first, you won't feel like you're working hard. Secondly, you'll spend so much time on your business or job so much that you'll know more about your business or job than anybody in the world. And because you know more than anybody, you'll achieve what most people will never be able to achieve and that's how to become rich without working hard. Find a business or job you enjoy doing and you will never have to work a day in your life. I think I've got you to understand that the reason why you feel like working too hard is that you're doing a job or business you care nothing about. The next problem we'll need to solve here is how do you know what you're passionate about? Think like an inventor. When I think about how best I can explain the concept of discovering what you're passionate about, I think the best analogy I can use is that of an inventor. Know that your passion exists. An inventor is someone passionate about discovering something new. But he doesn't just have a passion to discover new things, he believes strongly that there is something there to be discovered. Almost every human being has what they are passionate about but you have to believe that it's there before you can embark on the journey to discover it. Don't expect a quick fix. We know the story of how Thomas Edison failed 10,000 times before he could discover the electric bulb. Self-discovery is like every other discovery. It takes a lot of time and you must be willing to go on that rough journey. Spend time alone. Nikola Tesla told us about Thomas Edison and his testimony about him is that of a man who sleeps in his laboratory. You can discover anything including your passion if you don't have the habit of spending some time alone with yourself. 
to access who you are, what you're doing, and the feedback you're getting from the outside world. Try many things. Let me ask you these questions. How did you discover the subjects you like as a student? How did you discover the games you like? How did you discover the friends you like? It's all by the same formula. You discovered the subjects you like because you were exposed to many subjects. You discovered the games you like because you were exposed to many games. You discovered the friends you like because you met many friends. The only way to discover your passion is to be experimental. You have to try many things and observe how you feel with each thing. You can't know what you're passionate about from the distance. Until you try music, you cannot know whether music is your passion. Until you try to build a business, you cannot know whether entrepreneurship is your passion. Until you attempt many things, there's no way for you to know which is your passion. Develop selling skills. Let's remember Nikola Tesla again. He was a very smart inventor, but he never achieved many significant fame or wealth compared to Thomas Edison. Why is that so? Well, Edison wasn't just an inventor. He learned how to sell as much as he learned how to invent. Steve Jobs loves computers, and he would have spent all his life on it no matter what. But he wouldn't have had the great success he had if not because he knows how to sell. Selling skills are important or even compulsory for you to master because no matter what your passion is, you will have to sell yourself, your product or your ideology for the world. The best way to learn selling skills is to sell. Just look for ways to convince someone to do something. Look for ways to sell something. Look for ways to get someone to agree with you on something. Look for a way to get someone to cooperate with you on a project. The more you get people's attention and resources, the more you'll master how to sell because selling is all about getting a favorable response from other human beings for whatever you want them to do for you. Reading a few books about selling, marketing and human relationships too will be very helpful for you. This is the summary of everything I've discussed with you. You can become very rich without having to work hard. The formula for that is discover what you're passionate about so that waking up every morning is fun because you have to go and do the job and businesses that seem like play. If you discover who you are and what you love, then you'll spend more time doing such things and the whole time will seem like play while you learn about such business or job more than anyone in the world. And because you know about your job or business more than anyone else, plus the fact that you have the great fun doing that job or business, it's natural that you come up with ideas and strategies to grow and make more money than almost everyone in the same industry. This way, you can become wealthy, even while you don't feel like you're working. You can reverse this video to see some recommendations I gave on how you can discover your passion. Find a business or job you enjoy doing and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Thank you very much for watching our videos.